and welcome to Salford Now. I'm Lucy Hill. And I'm Lauren Cohen. Coming up on the programme today, we'll be catching up with family days out in Rochdale and Shropshire and hearing a, a, about a race through the Mersey Tunnel. But first, Easter Monday 2019 was the hottest on record. Was this a sign of climate change? Here is Lauren with more. Raining. Pouring. This is what most people have come to associate with Easter weekend weather. However, this year's temperatures have reached a record high, hitting an average of 25 degrees Celsius compared to the 4 degrees Celsius of last Easter weekend. This seems to indicate a change in climate. Is this a cause for concern? Here are members of the public with their opinion. Use less plastics, not dump all the rubbish into the sea and things like that. It's something to be worried about with all this ice melting. You know, you can, you can see difference with the plants this time of year. It's a worry, really, especially having young children and worry about that, that generation. Yeah, I think we definitely need to change now the way we live in. I do worry about it for not this generation, but the generations to follow. Here is Met Office advisor for North West England, Alan Goodman, with his thoughts on the changing temperatures. So uh, there's going to be various manifestations of climate change. Um, it's not going to be a smooth process, it's going to be gradual, but we'll, we'll still get one or two cold winters and we'll, people will be thinking, wait a minute, is it really happening? But we only have to look around the world to see so much evidence that there is climate change taking place and at an alarming pace as well. So uh, it's a real ongoing concern. It seems that unless big changes are made, climate change is still a huge issue. Who is going to give in first? Man? or nature. A day out for the whole family, that's the feeling that was put across as Rochdale Council put on their annual food and drink festival with a focus on promoting the best of local traders. Ethan Walford reports. On the 16th of March, Rochdale Town Hall held the annual festival of food and drink. The main focus was on independent traders and their locally sourced products. Cooking demonstrations for Michelin star chefs was a popular event by adults throughout the day. If, you, if you're not overly comfortable... There were also many events for children with Mr Bloom from CBeebies making an appearance. Yeah. So what about and I've got a, lit, um, a hand cream there, beeswax and honey hand cream, which is really nice stuff because beeswax is a good moisturiser and the honey helps to heal the skin as well. So. Um, that's a really good product to sell. I do furniture polish as well. There were also prayers from Watch Deal Mayor Mohammed Saman as he had this to say. So unfortunately it's rain today but I've noticed that the people of Watch Deal have seemed to uh, still come out in great numbers. Yeah, really, you know, uh, rain uh, could not stop this uh, f uh, food and drink festival. It's really great to see so many people turning up uh, to Rosedale and the support we are getting from the community. So, uh, you know, in the ground hall upstairs, in the kitchen, in the uh, ground floor hall, you've got so many people. So my main giveaway from Calvin this event today has shown me that Watsdale Council's main focus today was to give back to the community. There was a wide variety of free events, both for adults and children, and also all the local traders were from either the Watchdale or Greater Manchester area. Ethan Walford reporting from Watchdale. Whittington Castle has been running reenactment events in the local area of Whittington in North Shropshire for over five years, and this weekend the organisation is putting on a Napoleonic War reenactment weekend. The Living History Weekend attracts hundreds of people every year, with different wars being reenacted, from the American Civil War to the War of the Roses. A range of events are also held throughout the year. I went down to have a look. Fire! Now, I'm here at Whittington Castle in North Shropshire, where currently, as we speak, they have a Napoleonic reenactment day. Whittington Castle has been running weekend reenactments for over five years. The castle itself is run by a trust, and back in 2007, the team received a £950,000 grant from the Heritage Lottery Fund. This was for the restoration of the castle so that it could reopen to visitors. Um, we want to fundraise, obviously, for the castle. It takes an awful lot of money. It takes about £100,000 to keep the castle open for the public for every year. So events like this are our future. I look over there at the 95th foot, the guys reenactors there. And to be fair, I think the guys who do the reenactment stuff, and the ladies of course, do a brilliant job. The two day event consists of the British Brigade drill, followed by the French drill, 
alongside firing displays and a battle to close the day. My name is Simon Love. I am Sergeant Love of the 33rd Red Cross Corps of the Reenactment Society. I'm portraying somebody who would have followed the army and sells all sorts of bits and bobs to the army, so fresh fruit, vegetables, anything that I can find myself. That I would sell For more information, visit their website at www.whittingtoncastle.co.uk. Now let's go over to Jason with the sport. For football, it's been a particularly exciting week. Liverpool's astounding 4-0 win against Barcelona managed to get them into the final. Tottenham are now facing them in the final after winning against Ajax by scoring a winning goal in the last few minutes. Last Sunday, a one-of-a-kind race took place in Liverpool. The Mersey Tunnel 10K saw participants running from Liverpool through the Kingsway Tunnel and over to New Brighton. The race was highly popular and attracted just over 2,000 runners. I went along to find out more. Now, back to Lucy and Lauren. And finally, here is the latest weather forecast with Lucy. Now, I'm sure that many of you are aware that it's a Women's Strike Assembly National Spring gathering this weekend in Cheatham Hill in Manchester. So you'll need to wrap up warm for that. It's going to be a bit of a chilly one if you're attending. Um, there'll be highs of 10 degrees with a cold front moving in from the west. Uh, top temperatures over the weekend of 12 degrees. Sunday's looking a little bit brighter with scattered showers coming in from the east, covering much greater Manchester. Expect sunny intervals throughout the day on Sunday, ready for the big match against Cardiff City. Thank you for watching our latest episode of Salford Now. Head back to our Facebook page and Twitter so at Salford Now for all of our latest stories. Goodbye. Goodbye.